Hi guys, so today we're talking about how to use a percent proportion method to solve percent problems. So remember, you can always think of percent as meaning out of 100 or per 100. So I like the proportion method for solving percent problems because it works for three different types of problems. It works for problems that are um, set up this way. What number is 75% of 4? It also works for problems that are phrased in this way. 3 is what percent of 4? And lastly, it works for problems that look like this. 75% of what number is 3? Okay, so we're going to talk about the percent proportion. So we set it up this way. Is over of equals percent over 100. Or is over of is percent over 100. Yeah, you know you love that song. Okay, so what is this all about? Percent. The number with the percent sign is the, our, our, our Q. It's what we're looking for. Part is a piece of the puzzle. It's our number that's usually associated with the word is. And the whole, or our denominator, is usually associated with the word of. Now, this isn't always happening, but most of the time you can use these clue words to help you to do these type of problems. Okay, so now let's take a look at an actual problem. What is 35% of 40? All right, so let's think about this. The first step we always want to do is we want to write that percent proportion down. Is over of equals percent over 100. Once we have a, our percent proportion written down, now we want to replace the word is or the word of or the percent symbol with actual numbers that are needed to solve the problem. So the first thing I do is I look for the percent symbol. So here is, whoopsies. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to look for the percent symbol. So I see the percent symbol next to the number 35. So I'm looking for 35 percent. Well percent means per 100, so we are going to write 35 over 100 equals Okay, so the next step is to look for our clue words. So we see the word of out of 40. So we know that 40 is going to be our denominator. And it's asking what is. They're asking what number is 35% out of 40. So I don't know what that number is. That's what I'm trying to solve. So I'm going to put my variable in the numerator above 40. The next step is I'm going to do my loop-de-loops and pull. And my shoes are looking cool. So here's my loop-de-loops, and in this loop, I'm going to multiply the two numbers together. I have 100 times x equals, and in this loop, I have 40 times 35. So I have 100x equals 1400. The next step is to isolate our variable, and we have 100 next to x. We want to get that x all by itself, so the inverse operation of multiplying is dividing. I'm going to divide both sides by 100, and I'm going to be left with x equals 14. So my answer is x equals 14, but we're not done. Okay, we need to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the number 14 in place of x. So our check step is going to be here. We're going to place 14 in the numerator over 40. We're going to do a quick division. We're going to divide 14 by 40 and see if we actually do get 35%. And if we do it correctly, 35% as a decimal is 35 hundredths. And it just so happens that it is correct. Boom shakalaka. Good job, you did it right. Now you're ready to practice some more problems. Keep up the good work. Okay, so let's see who is actually watching the whole video. Here's a problem. What is 85% of 600? So I would like you guys tomorrow to come into class with the percent proportion written down and this problem solved, and I will know who watched my video. Have a good night.